this is a short introduction to the Q abstract data type. Cues are something that we have seen frequently throughout our lives. Uh, we simply may not have called them by that term. Frequently we might call them a line. For example, a line in a movie theater. Let's suppose that Alfred comes and gets in the line and then Betty joins the line, which means that she is behind him. And then Chad gets in the line. And then Donald. And then uh, someone calls for Alfred to come to buy a ticket. So now he's no longer in the line. Then Edgar joins the line. And again, he is behind everyone else. And then let's say someone calls Betty. And then Fred comes after that. So what we are seeing is that people always leave the line from the front, or DQ from the front, and people always enter the line or NQ from the rear. So we call this the front of the queue, and we call this the rear of the queue. And in queue operations, we'll always add things at the rear of the queue and move the rear back. And DQ operations will always remove an item from the front of the queue, thereby moving the front of the queue back. So a queue is a FIFO data structure first in, first out, because the first person to get in the queue, the first person to get in line, is the first person to get called uh, to buy their movie ticket. So it's very important that uh, in a queue, in fact it's necessary in a queue, that um, items are only removed from the front of the queue and only added to the rear of the queue. So there can be no line jumping. Edgar can't move in front of Chad. And uh, there's no way to get Edgar out of the queue without first calling Chad and uh, Donald. So queues are uh, data structures or queues are ADTs that provide only for FIFO operation. The first object put in is the first object to come out. And there, after that, the second object that was put in is the second object to come out, and so on. So queues keep things in order, as opposed to a stack, which we could say reverses the order because a stack is last in, first out.